Hey everyone, Mr. Sugeno here. In today's video, we're going to go over the best NES emulators on PC. I actually get this question quite a bit, and for such an older popular system, there are some very good emulators out there. Now obviously my first recommendation would be RetroArch. RetroArch is a very powerful software. You can use it to emulate a bunch of systems, NES included. And if you're using RetroArch, I'd highly recommend checking out the Mezzan Core. On the flip side, RetroArch is also not the easiest software to use. Some people find it very confusing, and it's very easy to misconfigure it and have your game not working correctly. I do have a video that will show you how to set up RetroArch and get it using, and I do believe I also walk through NES in that, so I'll leave a link to that in the description below. Now if you're looking for something that's easy to use, that works with pretty much any system with minimal configuration, something you can just download, load up your ROMs and play, then there are two other options to consider. The first option to consider is FCEUX. Now this emulator does not require a lot of system resources to use. It's usually the go-to for a lot of people who just want something to work. FCE UX is very lightweight. It's easy to use out of the box. It has some options that you can play around with a little bit and it just works. One of the main drawbacks to FCE UX is its emulation accuracy. The standard regular gamer may not care However, if you are looking for a very closely, uh, closely accurate to the actual NES, so the game runs at the same speed, sounds the same, looks the same, then FCEUX might not be for you. So FCEUX is definitely, uh, it works. Uh, the average gamer probably won't notice a difference compared to the NES, but if you're an NES purist or if you're looking for something completely accurate, you will notice a difference. Now to download FCE UX, it's pretty simple and straightforward. Just head over onto the download button and click the FCE UX 2.2.3 Win32 binary. And what that'll do is that'll bring you over to a page here and will automatically pop up ready to go. When that's downloaded, just make sure to extract everything into one folder, and then the program is right here, FCEUX, so you can double click to open it. And when it first opens, it should open in a fairly small window. You can just maximize it if you like to maximize it to full screen. Alt-Enter also works to make it full screen, and you can configure the window size. This also supports controllers, and I will say, that before you load up a game in FCE UX, I would highly recommend configuring the controller. I've had issues where the game is running and trying to configure it hasn't really worked on the fly. So definitely head over into the config menu, go down into input, then in gamepad here, click configure. All you do is click your button. Then for example, I'm just gonna hit up on this controller here and it shows up as the Y axis. And once I'm done, just click close and go to the next option. This emulator also supports save states, screenshots, as well as a few other options. And the best part about it is if there's a setting in here, you accidentally goof it up, you can just delete this folder, re-extract it into a new folder, and all the settings are reset. And to load a game on FCE UX, there's actually two options. First and foremost, you can just do open ROM, or secondly, you can actually just drag the ROM right into FCE UX and it'll load. So for example, I'm just gonna drag and drop DuckTales here right into FCE UX, and I'm pretty much off to the races now. So I can just load up the game and begin playing. Now you can see it looks pretty good. There aren't really a lot of issues at all with FCE UX. It runs mostly all of the NES games, if not all of them. And now if you want something that is also very easy to use and is more accurate and has more options to, to configure your settings, then definitely take a look at Mezzin. So Mezzin, it's the same core actually that runs this, that's in RetroArch that I would recommend using, except this is a standalone program. 
And this one is almost as easy as FCE UX to get and set up. It does require a bit more CPU power because it is much higher accuracy than FCE UX. So it'll play your NES game much truer to the original console. And this is also a very small download. So if you head over into downloads, all you have to do is click download. And there we go. And this one's 8.2 megabytes. And inside of the zip that you download is just one application. So it's not even a folder, just one application that says mezzin.exe. So feel free to extract this anywhere you want to access mezzin. And now I have Mezzin up and running here. You can see that it's automatically got DuckTales loaded. What I did is I had DuckTales running and then I just closed the window. So what Mezzin does, is it has a great little autosave feature. So I can go right into it and it'll go back into the emulator. So it's very, very easy to use in that regard. So if I were just to close out Mezzin and reopen it, it would save exactly where I am. All right, now you can see Mezzin does have other options very similar to FCE UX, like save states and load states, load last session, load recent files, as well as some neat little options. And this is where it really shines. For example, if we head over into video filter, it's really easy just to change the filter. I can head into, I don't know, let's take a look at BRZ four times. And you can see that the texture instantly changed a lot more smooth than the original. So I can just take that off and go back to the original. And it's very, very seamless. And we can head over here too. This has options similar to FCE UX. It does have movies, so you can play, record, and stop. I feel that this tool works a little bit better on Mezzin. Uh, there's sound recorder, video recorder, net play as well if you're interested in that. And configuring controller is very similar to FCE UX. So you head over into input, for example, here, player one, standard controller, just going to setup. And you can see the layout is very similar to FCE UX. So if you're looking for complete accuracy, check out Mezzin or RetroArch. If you want something easy to use that's accurate and has a lot of options, check out Mezzin. If you want something that just works out of the box and you really don't care about accurate or emulation accuracy, check out FCE UX. And lastly, as always, if you want to be able to configure virtually everything and want an almighty emulator overall that can also emulate other systems, just everything in one place, then definitely check out RetroArch. Anyways, that's all I've got for today. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you didn't like the video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos, and let me know which emulator you use on PC for NES. Thank you, everyone. Take care.